Mass, Volume, and Density Mass can be defined as the amount of matter in an object. Note that mass and weight are not the same thing. Weight is the force of an object due to the gravitational pull of a planet or other heavenly body. Mass, on the other hand, remains constant no matter where it is. Mass equals density times volume. Mass is important because it helps to determine how much material is in an object. It also helps to find the density, which is very important for lab work and in certain job fields dealing with math and science. Example 1. If the density of an object is 15 grams per milliliter and the volume is 3 milliliters, the mass is 45 grams. Example number two. If a solid has a density of 6 pounds per inch cubed and a volume of 11 inches cubed, the mass is 66 pounds. And the last example. If the volume of an object is 33 liters and the density is 2 liters per pound, the mass is 66 pounds. Volume. Volume can be defined as the quantity of three-dimensional space occupied by a liquid, solid, or gas. Common units used to express volume include liters, cubic meters, gallons, milliliters, teaspoons, and ounces. Many other units exist as well. Volume can be written as mass divided by density. Volume is important because it helps to tell you how much of something is present and how big it is. It is related to mass because if the volume of a material changes, the mass changes, the mass changes as well. Example number one of volume. If the mass of an object is 6 pounds and the density is 12 pounds per feet cubed, the volume is 0.5 feet cubed. Example number two. If the mass of an object is 45 grams and the density is 15 grams per gallon, the volume is 3 gallons. Example number 3. The density of an object is 10 grams per milliliter and the mass is 90 grams. This means that the volume is 9 milliliters. And lastly, we have density. Density is the ratio of mass to volume. It can be written as density equals mass divided by volume. Density is important for finding the weight of liquids. It also helps determine what types of materials are appropriate to use in certain situations. This can be applied in real life settings. Example number one. If the mass of an object is 16 grams and the volume is 18 inches cubed, the density is two grams per inch cubed. Example number two. If a liquid has a mass of 15 grams and a volume of 3 centimeters cubed, the density is 5 grams per centimeters cubed. Example number 3. If the volume of an object is 11 centimeters cubed and the mass is 22 grams, the density is 2 grams per centimeter cubed. And that is the end of our presentation.